Hi, I'm Dr. Jenny Yu, Chief Health Officer of Healthline. Today, we're shining a spotlight on Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is a chronic type of inflammatory bowel disease marked by inflammation of the GI tract. This inflammation can appear anywhere in the GI tract from the mouth to the anus and is caused by healthy cells in the GI tract attacking themselves. Crohn's most often develops in the late teens or 20s, but it can also develop later in life. While the exact cause is unknown, you do have an increased risk for developing the disease if you have a family member with Crohn's, have a family history of autoimmune diseases, you smoke, have obesity, eat a high fat diet, or live in an urban or industrialized area. The stages of Crohn's range from mild to severe. It is a progressive disease that starts with mild symptoms and gradually worsens. People with Crohn's often experience ups and downs in symptoms. They may even have periods of remission. Early signs of Crohn's disease include frequent and ongoing abdominal pain and cramps, bloody stools, and unintentional weight loss. In the mild stage, you may experience diarrhea and abdominal pain, but you are able to move, eat, and drink as normal with minimal impact on the quality of your life. In some cases, you won't even require treatment. As Crohn's progresses into the moderate to severe stage, you may have diarrhea or abdominal pain as well as additional symptoms and complications, such as fatigue, nausea, fever, or anemia. In the severe stage, Crohn's symptoms will disrupt your daily life. You might be in constant pain or discomfort and may need to use the bathroom frequently. At this stage, inflammation occurs often and your body's tissues are at risk of permanent damage. Additionally, you may start experiencing symptoms outside of the GI tract, including eye pain, fever, joint inflammation and pain, red skin rashes and bumps, and mouth sores. Early diagnosis is important to prevent intestinal damage and reduce your risk for developing severe symptoms. If you experience Crohn's symptoms, particularly if you have a family history of the disease, you should ask your doctor for testing. Aside from a physical exam, your doctor may also order lab tests, an endoscopy of the intestines. This is where the GI tract is viewed through a lighted, flexible tube with a camera at the end or a CT scan of the GI tract. While there's no cure for Crohn's disease, medications and lifestyle changes can help manage it. Your doctor will recommend treatment based on the stage and severity of your disease. Certain medications can treat inflammation and stop your body from attacking its own cells. These medications can include steroids, which are the first line in treating the disease, and immunomodulators and biologic therapies that reduce the severity of inflammation. If you start experiencing symptoms outside of the GI tract, you might need additional medications such as pain relievers. Try to avoid NSAIDs such as ibuprofen as these can make Crohn's worse. Instead, ask your doctor if you can safely take acetaminophen such as Tylenol. Dietary supplements may also play a role in your treatment. Although any stage of Crohn's disease can affect your nutritional intake, the risk for malnutrition is higher in the later stages. At this point, your doctor may recommend supplements. These supplements can include calcium, iron, especially if you're susceptible to anemia, vitamins D and B12, as well as protein supplements. A low fiber diet may be recommended to prevent intestinal blockage and help reduce the frequency of diarrhea. In more severe cases, your doctor may also recommend occasional bowel rest. This involves a strict liquid-only diet for a few days to give your GI tract a break. Despite consistent treatment, surgery may still be necessary if your symptoms become life-threatening. Around 67 to 75% of people with Crohn's will eventually need surgery, according to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. While surgery can't cure the disease, it may help repair severely damaged tissues and remove blockages. The constant inflammation and related tissue damage from Crohn's, particularly in severe cases, may lead to other complications that include colon cancer, bowel obstruction, small tears in the GI lining that leads to ulcers, malnutrition and dehydration, osteoporosis, and other digestive organ diseases, including the liver and gallbladder. If left untreated, Crohn's can lead to complications of the GI tract, some of which may become permanent. It is important to work with your doctor to find a treatment plan that is right for you. For more information and videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. 
Thank you for watching.